going on, people? Uh, I want to memorize this. i never seen this before. This is literally the first time um, I came across such thing. And I've been turning wrenches for quite a while and a lot of different things. So we got a brakes, right? Uh, what I was doing, I was changing uh, oilers because every one of them leaking and they were mismatched. So this is trailer. Uh, I was jacking, uh, lifting it up each individual axle and checking wheel bangs, make sure they're all tight. So this is my last one. I check all three of them. The one over there, kitty corner from here, it was loose. So I was putting a jack under, under the axle. I gotta take my flashlight up here. And I saw this fucker uh, was loose. And it has quite a bit of pad left on it. But looks like it's been loose for a long, long time. So I thought just the bottom shoe had a problem. But this guy's tight. But look at this one. It's not the shoe, it's the, the pad on the shoe itself is loose. I don't know if you guys can see this. And same thing this one. Believe it or not, I never seen a loose pad on a shoe. And, you know, it would be acceptable if it gets very, very low and a guy keep running until it gets to the rivets. But to this point, I had some shitty freaking brake shoes. I'll tell you one thing. And they don't look that old. They don't look like the trailer was sitting for a long time someplace either. I mean, it's been... Uh, use quite often so we're gonna disassemble it and get a new shoes and I will not replace the drum because drum look good and they look like they're fairly new because they're not even I mean they are rusty but usually they're very rusty and it looks like shoes were brain you know not that old at all anyways uh, should have done it before but uh, the reason I came across this, like says, I was changing the oilers, checking uh, uh, wheel bearing, make sure they uh, snugged up. So if you have a dual nut um, inside, some people know there's nut, big nut, uh, lock washer with a bunch of holes in it. There's a smaller one. So the torque packed on the wheel bearings on a dual nut, you preset it a hundred, you tight it up one time, you spin it, check a hundred again, you do a couple times, you preset it a hundred, back it up, set it at 50, the inner nut. You set it at 50, spin it, set it again at 50, you will see you do it a couple times, because every time you spin it, kind of will settle itself in. So do like three, four times, I would say. You set it at 50 pounds, foot pounds, and then the, outer one you go to 100 or 150 it's up to you and then you either have a bend over washer or you either have a allen little screw goes in and so that's how you actually check your wheel bearings obviously you look for the play when the the tires on it and it's very important on a spread axle trailer because they like to travel and believe it or not, some people are not going to believe it. Wheel bearing will give you vibration. Believe it or not. I did come across that. I felt with my own butt, I would say. So I got to take the shoes off and run up to Lincoln and get a set of new shoes, slap them back on and change this oiler. And we should be ready to go, basically. Got my ascent fixed. That one had a little bit of damage. Uh, put new mud flaps in. Speaking of the mud flaps, <coughs> uh, this is not your ordinary mud flap from Fredliner or any auto parts store. 
what I do, it's actually a, a cow mat or pat mat, they call it for the pats or horses. Uh, you can buy in different uh, squares. <clears throat> so I like it because they're so thick and you buy them in uh, four by four squares. Is it four by four? Yeah, four by four squares. And I cut them and that's what I end up with. The reason I like them, their thickness and they are very heavy. So when you're going down the road, uh, they don't sail. They don't, they don't come up and just flying all over the place. So I know you can put aluminum piece on the bottom of it and stuff like that. So for kind of, for the weight, nope, I just like this mud flaps. And it seems like they, uh, they don't stretch out over time. Like I had a set on a, my old truck for, I would say three years, never rip one out and they don't stretch out. So check your wheel bearings. If you have a tire wear problem or anything else, it's fairly important thing will always get overlooked. And my recommendation once a year and those six, uh, every six months, lift the axle up and check your wheel bearing. Make sure there's no play in it. Saves you a ton of money on tires and downtime. That's all I have today. Thanks.